um, I think in, in, as far as public policy is concerned, I think it is for us it is always important to be, uh, to be contextual in terms of understanding the context. I think in the area of South South uh, knowledge sharing, uh, it is important for uh, there's advantage in sharing uh, South South uh, based on the common experience that we have, based also on the developmental stage that uh, we are going through. So for many of those countries which have common issues that they encounter because of the uh, stage of development that they have, in fact, I think South South information sharing or knowledge sharing can be more beneficial than sharing of knowledge from some of the more developed countries to the less developed countries. So in that context, I think that uh, if you can learn from one another, especially some of the common areas that we encounter, given the same similar environment, similar uh, stage of development, uh, and of course, similar, sometimes similar political structure, I think uh, in order to deal with some of the problems, uh, we may be better off by learning from one another. ASEAN was established in 1966-67, so ASEAN has already, 67, ASEAN has a, already a 50-year history. CARIC uh, comprises uh, many of the countries that became uh, independent and became a republic in only in 1991. Right? So CARIC countries um, are younger compared to ASEAN countries. But one, I think one of the unique uh, lessons that you can learn from ASEAN is that ASEAN is not about rules. ASEAN is about negotiations, about understanding each other, and also a lot of uh, dialogue between the members of ASEAN. If you look at uh, what how ASEAN has gone through and look at how ASEAN has progressed, ASEAN did not set up rules, but they, they enter into dialogue with one another, constant dialogue, and they have support from the uh, the top political leaders, meaning that the prime ministers or the presidents of the country gave the support to the negotiations or the dialogue that is taking place within ASEAN. And of course, even the, the top leaders themselves enter into dialogue in ASEAN. I think this is something which the uh, CARIC can learn from in the sense that it has to be driven primarily by the political leaders. If you do not have the support of political leaders, then you find that the going becomes tough. And of course, if you cannot, you cannot be ASEAN or cannot be like EU overnight. It's a long process, and so you have to be patient. And I think what you want to do is to celebrate some small achievements. Uh, you have examples where there can be agreement, and then you, you agree to, uh, to co collaborate or cooperate. I think we can celebrate those achievements rather than to look at um, the setup of uh, or to, to have big plans for the for carrot like uh, setting up a common uh, uh, common economic activity. Or you can you can increase trade between uh, two countries, increase collaboration in sectors or, or different sectors of, of the countries. And it does not necessarily have to be a big project. And you can start with small projects. <laughs>